All right, salam alaikum. Um, may I know what's your name? Nicole Queen. Okay. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Dallas originally, so. Yeah, uh, I, I heard that you're a convert, so how long have you been Muslim? I converted to Islam in May of 2007. And uh, wow, that was like about less not than long, <laughs> not long ago. <laughs> less than a year. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what were you before you became Muslim? I was Baptist, which is Christian. Born from a Baptist church, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Grew up Baptist. What, uh, yeah. uh, what made you to be a Muslim? Like, what was your life like you know, before Islam? I was extremely lost before that. Uh, I went through a phase just a couple of years ago where I was just looking for something different, you know, and um, the religion, the Baptist religion, it was good, you know, I went to church, I followed the religion, but I went through a period where I didn't know what happened, you know, you know is there really heaven, is there really a hell, what is going to happen, what am I going to say to God when I see him, uh, all these questions went through my mind, and um, I was drinking, I was doing all of the things like typically an American would do. Uh, my work was in nightclubs, uh, photographing. There was a lot of things that I was going through that were just not with God and I needed something to change. So um, friends told me about some different lectures on YouTube and I started taking a look, listening all about Islam um, and I became addicted to it like I would stay up until five o'clock in the morning on my computer watching lectures about Americans who had converted to Islam and what they were going through and it seemed like everyone was saying the same things that I was going through and the same things that I felt so I felt like I could relate to that like these people were Christian before they were facing these challenges and they found something that gave them the answers they were looking for and that's what I wanted. I wanted answers. I didn't want to just someone to tell me what to believe. I wanted to know why and how is that going to affect my life and how do I put that into my life. So I found that in Islam and I studied for a while before I actually went to classes at the masjid and more and more I was surrounding myself with it, with the books and everything. And so uh, when I said my shahada, I just, I never looked back and I changed everything in my life. My friends, my wardrobe, <laughs> my job, everything. I changed immediately and it wasn't hard because I understood why it was the right thing to do. And uh, I've been thankful ever since, you know. Thankful to God, like, to have Islam. Now, uh, if you don't mind to go a little bit personal, how was your parents' reaction about that? My parents, uh, it's been hard. You know, with my parents, we're still kind of going through all of the, you know, them getting used to it. Um, I went to my mom and I told her that I was studying Islam before I converted, that I was interested in it, and I think she thought, oh, maybe it's just a phase, I don't think she's really going to do it. But when I told her I've converted to Islam, she realized, you know, I was serious about it. But one good thing is that she was watching me go through the changes. She saw me before and how my life was and then she saw me after changing she saw me dressing differently she saw me stopping all of the haram things that I was doing and uh, she realized like that when I converted to Islam I was closer to God and that's what made her happy you know if that's what brought me closer to God then she was happy yeah. so it's become easier when she realizes this yeah. well uh, another thing that uh, many Muslim uh, or non-Muslims, they come and, and they try to harass the Muslim girls. Oh, you become Muslim because of guy or a man or something like yeah. that. Yeah. you think was, uh, that was a reason for you also to become Muslim? Or? Wasn't a reason, um, not at all, because uh, I did this on my own and I went to classes on my own. I studied everything on my own. So I can't say it was because of another man. Um, I know some girls that have done that, and if you don't feel it in your heart, it's not going to stay there. I've seen girls come and go from Islam because they wanted to be with someone, so they converted, and then afterwards they left Islam uh, if he didn't want her. Or you know, I've seen a lot of stories about that. But it has to be in your heart, and to feel the faith and to wear the hijab and everything has to be in your heart, oh, yeah. or or it's not going to stay there. So. 
Uh, what about your friends that they were uh, like uh, a little bit, uh, you know, far away uh, from, or like they were like close friends before Islam, and now uh, d have they seen the change? And what was their reaction about? Were they like uh, questioning or trying to be away from you, far away from you, or you know, trying to get closer and ask about it? I, I don't know. Like, uh, um, like give me some kind of examples of your friends. Like, what were their was their reaction about that? Um, of course, I had uh, a lot of friends from my previous life, like before I converted, who, you know, always wanting to go out to the clubs and different things at our age, you know, being single and everything. Um, and when they saw me going through the changes, because it didn't happen overnight, it was, you know, I went through transitions of embracing it more and more. And they they watched this because I was very open about it with all of my friends and they saw me less and less because I wasn't in those clubs anymore and I wasn't doing those things and when I would talk to them about what I was doing with my new life they kind of felt like wow you know she's moving on with her life and we're still doing the same thing also uh, so that my friends would better understand what I was going through and why I wasn't really around anymore I, uh, I wrote a blog about it put it online and invited a bunch of people to go on there and read it and we had lots and lots of girls who weren't following any religion who were just kind of living their life and doing whatever they wanted and they went on and they read about my life changes and who I was before and who I was after and tons and tons of girls who go out and drink went on there and they read this blog and they wrote that they were crying when they read it that they felt like it touched them and that they looked at their life and thought you know I need to make changes too so alhamdulillah it, you know the more that I talk to people about what I was before it and then after the more that they look at themselves and think can make, you know what I can do that too I so my friends uh, embraced it like that and they respected the decision I made. Yeah. Do you face any of the challenges in front of people like as, a, as an American become Muslim, like finding a job or like for example after you became Muslim, um, uh, of course you had to quit your job, right? Uh, you still I stopped uh, working in the clubs uh, that I was photographing in and so I had to find something different, you know, a different area. And uh, when I started to wear the hijab, I noticed some changes that uh, I was interviewing more often than normal for jobs. But um, now that has all kind of been squared away, honestly. I just, uh, I dress nice, I go to the interview and I show them that I have the skills, I have the experience, I have everything. And I haven't really had a problem with it so far, you know, alhamdulillah. So, um, but yeah, it's different, you know, as an American, um, you get a lot of questions, but it just opens up opportunity for Doha when I go around, even around town, people will stop me and ask me, uh, are you Muslim, you know, because they can tell I'm American and I just take the time to tell them, yeah, I am, and I tell them why, and it makes them think, wow. Uh, well